All right, now this is, uh, will be Group uh, Two's report on their website. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Nino Matos. We do the Huffington Post, and my group topic is terrorism. And we chose this website because you can see it's like a, it's like a newspaper, but just for online bloggers. So they could just go onto the website and they, they wouldn't have to pay anything. Um, I'm doing the overview, and what that is is like the goals of this website is for them to like show us the people who have internet, um, daily situations that are happening around the world, articles, and they show pictures, videos, and also people can also comment to the articles and whatever else is happening around. <laughs> speaking about the background of the developers. Basically the site was founded in 2005 by Area and Huffington and it was opened in May, May 9th. Also there were a couple of more sites opened for New York, Chicago and Denver over the 2008 and 2009. The chief executive officer is Eric Hippel and he is basically taking care of the funds that are done to the website and he's talking to the other banks that are funding it. In August 2006, uh, Salt Bank Capital invested five million in the site. So basically over the year, the site really rose a lot and there's a lot of posts on the website. Also the plans included hiring more staff so there can be, the site can be updated 24 hours a day. Also in November 2005, the Post completed a fundraising of 15 million, which are, were basically done for journalism. So this is basically the background on the website. Thank you. What's going on, I'm Adam. I did the content of the website and talking about the uh, all the content on the website over here. You got visuals, various topics you can choose from, such as uh, politics, business, media. You got tons of uh, eye-catching photos, such as this one, to get your eye on the articles that you can click on and read. At the bottom left, on the left side of the website, which isn't in the picture, but it's down here somewhere, you got the blogs where you can comment and view um, all kinds of different blogs. And blogs also have topics such as politics, food, etc. And the articles you can click on and read too. And that's basically the content. <coughs> this is a continuation of group two. Hello, my name is Natasha Phillips. <laughs> And today our group is um, doing, uh, I'm doing actually the content on the Huffington Post. This is the website we chose. Um, our main topic is terrorism and current affairs. Um, basically the, the Huffington Post is a website, okay, the Huffington Post uh, um, online uh, is a website. It's actually a newspaper with a blog and video community. Also the news articles are fact-based. However, you have blogs and opinion pieces. Um, the main, uh, the front, uh, the front page, um, it has links to news stories and political, um, in political, and the foreign arena. Um, each story has a picture and uh, video-related subject matter. Also, um, the search you can narrow down the search. You have the search section where you could put in whatever, you know, if you want, and, um, travel, food. Also, um, there are subsections like entertainment, economics, uh, green, um, education, sports. Um, also, um, you can check the authorship. Um, under each picture, you have the author with uh, the time and date the, the story was um, um, posted on, on the website. Um, the, the information is um, contributed by a lot of reliable sources like CNN, um, the Associated Press, NBC. Um, the sources are also linked, so the reader can check 
um, to see if it's valid or not, um, and also verify accuracy of primary and secondary sources. Um, their opinion, each article, the reader, if once the reader reads an article, you can go in and um, make Natasha, comments. Natasha, you need, and this is going on to two minutes. Okay, uh, you have expert bloggers, and also um, you have an about section where it tells you who the co-founder is and the editors and the um, medical board of you. Thank you. Thank you.